Hi there. Um, I'm your host, Dominic Wool, uh, here for the Cybersecurity Awards 2020. Uh, well, SpongeBob's co-hosting as well. Uh, but boy, thank you so much for joining us today. And boy, we have uh, some incredible uh, awards to give out today, some incredible uh, nominees, some incredible humans that do so much uh, for our industry here when it comes to cybersecurity. Uh, as mentioned, uh, I'm your host, Dominic Vogel. Uh, I'm super excited to be doing this. Um, Definitely going to say that this is not how I expected uh, my first time in terms of hosting an award show would be. Um, definitely a new experience, but it's 2020. Uh, say la vie, and you know I'm, I'm going to have to say it was a real struggle for me to even figure out how to butt my shirt. I haven't wor uh, worn a shirt that were uh, required the use of buttons in over six months, so uh, this was a real struggle for me. So um, hopefully everything looks. Uh, relatively uh, uh, presentable. Um, like I was saying, I'm, I'm really humbled to be uh, uh, hosting this. I know when I was sp speaking with Christina, I said, oh, I'm so grateful to you guys for picking me as your host. And uh, you know, I'm really, great, uh, really grateful that uh, I was your first choice. And I'm like, sure, why not? But uh, Hey, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna have some fun here. Uh, you know what, what's funny is that you know everyone's talking about 2020 being such a miserable year. Personally, I beg to differ. Here I am hosting an award show virtually, and I'm sitting here in my underwear. Well, well, not quite my underwear, but uh, I'm a bit more dressed up than that. Um, boy, I'm not gonna be invited back next year, am I? Uh, anyway, uh, one of the uh, you know, there's been so much happening, obviously, with with, with the pandemic, and uh, you know, the, one of these uh, terms that we're hearing quite a bit now is Zoom Zoom fatigue, and you know, we're all going from virtual meeting to virtual meeting, or God forbid, virtual coffee from virtual coffee. Uh, but personally, it's actually uh, been really beneficial for me because. I'm using it, uh, the term Zoom fatigue, as an excuse to not have to talk to my mother-in-law uh, on Zoom when the kids talk with her every other night. Uh, so bonus points there. Um, and oddly enough, I know uh, when this is going to be airing um, live, um, I'm here based in Vancouver, Canada, So, uh, which is also really funny, which when this is airing live, uh, I'm probably, probably going to be asleep. So um, that's another really cool concept here in 2020. I get to host an award show, but sleep at the same time. Boy, welcome to the future. Um, I'm not sure what everyone's uh, sort of past few months have been during COVID. I know there's been a lot of up and down type moments. Uh, you know, for for me, you know, uh, you know be, being here, you know, definitely a lot of up and down moments. And you know, one one of the main challenges for us is, you know, we have we have two young kids, and uh, at least for for this, trying to figure out where I was going to sort of host these award show. Um, for me, the reason why I'm in this room right now is that it is literally the only room in this house which is relatively clean. Uh, the wall hasn't been destroyed or written on in crayon, and there's a functioning door. So that was my process of elimination there. Um, and, you know, it's uh, I, I have a two year old son and during the summer here, you know, he's been learning to drive his power wheels car in the uh, in the in the uh, area where we live here in the little uh, cul-de-sac where we live. And uh, boy, he's already a much better driver than me. He's, he's only hit two parked cars uh, uh, here in, in, the, in the past few weeks. So uh, far fewer than I have. That's that's for sure. Um, you know, I, there's another another story I, I've been sharing recently is that you know it's been so stressful working from home with with two young kids and uh, as awesome as it is it's really hard to get work done you know I love the fact that my kids love to spend time with me uh, but boy it leads out leads to burning out during during the work day and uh, oddly enough the other day I was uh, at the end of the day when, when both my kids went to bed I, I went uh, to a local uh, store and uh, uh, sort of a, they, they have a, a drive through and uh, uh, and I was ordering their grilled cheese, which is absolutely to die for. If you're ever visiting in, here in Canada, go to Tim Hortons and get the grilled cheese. Amazing. Uh, it shows you how low my standards are. Uh, but uh, when I was waiting in, in line, it was around 8, 8, 8 o'clock at night. And, uh, I asked for the grilled cheese and they said, oh, sorry, you know, the, the bread's the bread's uh, hasn't been defrosted. And they said, well, just put it in the toaster. And they said, well, you know, the, we've kind of shut off the toaster for the night. And I said, what do you mean shut the toaster off for the night? It's a toaster. Uh, long story short, uh, I got pissed off and I didn't get my grilled cheese and I'm not welcome back at that Tim Hortons anymore. So, uh, yeah, we've all been going through things during COVID here. But uh, uh, the point of the matter is that you know, here we are celebrating the best of the best uh, when it comes to cybersecurity. And I'm like a, very humbled to be uh, amongst so many incredible uh, judges that, that, that we have here and so many amazing nominations. Um, like I said, I'm just humbled to be uh, your somewhat comical and somewhat entertaining uh, uh, host here uh, for this amazing award show. Um, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> you're probably wondering at this point, wow, this is incredibly unprepared and completely amateurish. And you're absolutely right. Uh, but um, you know what? 
uh, hopefully you got some uh, good cheap laughs there and you are enjoying at least some of these uh, uh, cheap laughs. But um, like I was saying, I'm feeling like I'm overstaying my welcome, just like my mother-in-law does. Uh, so I'm going to take a pause here. And when we come back, uh, I don't believe that we have a paid commercial break, but when we do come back, we will get into the thick of things in terms of presenting the nominees, presenting the categories and handing out some fantastic hardware. Oh, wait, there's no hardware? Okay, well, we're going to be presenting to some incredibly awesome cybersecurity professionals. So stay tuned. Back with the official uh, mascot. This is Cyberpig. Um, say hi, Cyberpig. Uh, yeah, we're, like we're saying, we're super excited for all the amazing uh, nominations here. But we wanted to announce a cool competition that's going to be going on uh, during during uh, the award show here on Twitter. Uh, so please make sure to use the hashtag Cyber Awards 2020 and send us your best pictures of you being you know entertained and, and being engaged during this award show. And the winner will get will get a 50 pound uh, voucher to Uber Eats, and who knows, maybe you and I, uh, whoever the winner is, we can have a virtual lunch. Well, maybe not, but at least you get a cool 50 uh, pound uh, uh, voucher. Uh, and if you want to invite Cyberpig, he's always down for a meal. Now, before we get started, I'm just wanting to see if I can actually predict the future here and use my magic uh, uh, cybersecurity magic eight ball here to see who the, the first winner will be of the first category. So let's see what we got here. Ask again later. Well, that's what you get for buying something at a garage sale. Anyway, let's enough about me. Let's get started with the amazing nominees and the amazing categories here. Now, moving on to the reason why we're all here, uh, or I guess one of the reasons, other than maybe uh, boredom. But you know, this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm trying to you know, uh, make this as, as entertaining as possible. Uh, personality of the year. So let's kick off the actual awards portion of, of this show here uh, and talking about the personality of the year. Now, the uh, the winner, uh, I'm not going to reveal who that was yet, but the winner was chosen for the amazing work that they do in the industry. And I'm, I'm sure this is true of every single one of these, these people here. There's a few names here where I, I know these, these people personally, but this is an incredible list of people here uh with uh, a further hesitation so the finalists in personality of the year category starting off with chris roberts and farida shaheed gary hibbard jake moore james packer jim west i'm just gonna say laron lisa ventura well, i was going here just say sandro and todd perkins and drum roll and envelope please Actually, there's the envelope. I just hit next on the PowerPoint slide here. The winner is Farida Shahid. And the judges want to highly, highly commend uh, Sandro Buccianeri here uh, for his incredible, incredible work. Thank you to the judges and my support system that made this win possible. My vision is to positively impact the security awareness space by prioritizing tribes over trainings. I believe change doesn't just start with trainings, change starts with the heart and soul. And to be recognized for this and be given a cybersecurity award is deeply humbling and I'm appreciative of you all. Thank you. Now moving on to pen tester of the year. Now with pen tester of the year, uh, again, as with many of these categories, incredibly hard uh, uh, to judge. Uh, it's like saying, what what night of the week do I want to visit my mother-in-law? Um, that's a really hard question to answer because the, the answer is generally no nights of the week. Uh, but uh, every single one of these pen testers were doing amazing things. The three finalists here uh, were Mark Harrison from N MTI Technology, uh, Pavel Novikov from Positive Technologies, and Vedana Verma Sagal from IBM. And the winner is Mark Harrison. Hi, thank you very much for the Penetration Tester of the Year Award. Uh, I last won this in 2018. 
So uh, very good to, to win again, means a lot. Uh, it's been a, a pretty challenging year for cybersecurity in general with COVID and, and the home working. That's led into a significant rise of cyber attacks um, pretty much across the world and in all sectors. And we've been really busy this year helping the NHS defend against attack uh, to remediate their problems to ensure they can stay secure. So it's great to be recognized for the, uh, for the work that we do. Thank you very much. Say we're on a plane, thousands of feet above ground, in a massive metal structure, tons of fuel all around us. Yet we're oblivious to the dangers of flight. With seatbelts fastened, we're in a safe state of mind. Now, where is this plane landing? Many cities have measures to make us feel secure, like walls, electric fences, cameras. But crime is often sky high, so we have a false sense of security. Same goes for your IT infrastructure. Are you really secure? The majority of companies are vulnerable online. Very few are in a truly safe state. The most common approach to defense is to deploy controls or walls, thick, high, wide walls. The problem is hackers find a way around them or perhaps someone inside your organization left a door open. You know these controls by their common terms, antivirus, firewalls, IPS, privilege access management, DLP, the list is long. There are so many vendors convincing us to create walls upon walls. These controls are often not properly understood and very often poorly deployed, generating tremendous amounts of data in the form of security logs, which can be overwhelming and you may not have personnel to handle it all, let alone obtain meaningful conclusions about your security posture and existing threats. One way to calm this complexity is to start from the bottom. Assess the situation. Architect a rock-solid foundation with the right technologies, using data science to examine the logs and learn and adapt. This is what Performanta does differently. We understand the confusion caused by thousands of security products, we help you to journey from aware to secure to safe, so you can focus on your business. We don't sleep, so you can. Talk to the Purple Tribe, Performanta. Newcomer of the Year Award. And well, just some fantastic, fantastic humans here, which are, it, it, when I see this type of lifeblood coming into the industry, it gives me great hope uh, that we're truly moving this, the cybersecurity industry forward. Uh, just some amazing, amazing new, uh, new, new individuals. Now, the winner and the highly commended uh, uh, person there uh, had great examples of success very, very quickly uh, early on in, in, in their careers here in the, in, in the field. Uh, I think that's wonderful to be able to see that type of success, success so, so early. Now, uh, the finalists, uh, Gabriel Botball from Okioke, uh, Joas Antonio dos Santos Barbosa from Better Global Partner, Lee, Leah Clariu from BT, Lucas Weber from SRM, Michael McGinnis from the Cooperative Bank, Newman Asif Chima uh, from Decipher Cy uh, Cyber Jenny, and Shelton Newsham from the Yorkshire and Humber Regional Cyber Crime Unit. I managed to get through all that without uh, stumbling over my words. I'm actually proud of myself there. But uh, enough about me. The newcomer of the year. The winner is Leah Clariu. And highly, highly commended comes Lucas Weber. Congratulations to you both. Wow, to be announced the winner for newcomer in cybersecurity really is such an early achievement. Thank you so much. And it really does mean a lot. Well done to all the other finalists too. So from here, I plan to continue to develop my skills in cybersecurity and machine learning even further. And if you're interested in following my career as a female in technology, check out my Instagram at debug underscore her for more info on that. But thank you, it means so much. Next one is consulting practice of the year. Now the finalists here, Ankura Consulting. EXL Services Holding and Mandiant. Now, or sorry, Mandiant. <laughs> uh, see, I caught myself there. Now, the winner in this category is Ankura Consulting. Boy, I'm really glad that my keyboard's working. That's fantastic. Congratulations to Ankura Consulting. 
Hi, I'm Bob Olson, Global Head of Cybersecurity and Privacy at Ancora, and on behalf of the entire team, I would like to accept this award. This recognition is a testament to the expertise and value that we bring to our clients around the world as they solve ever-increasing challenges in data security and privacy. Our team is stronger together, and this award demonstrates the power of collaboration and excellent client service. Thank you. The Cybersecurity Startup of the Year. Now, some incredible finalists here, uh, six in total. Uh, Ava Unified Security, Hook Security, iStorm, I sort of sounds like when my wife accidentally drops her uh, iPhone. Boy, there ex- tends to be a hell of a storm after that. But anyway, uh, Semperis, Sternum, and Zach Ops. And the winner here is Ava Unified Security. Wow, congratulations. That is absolutely fantastic. Hi, I'm Tom Green, the CEO of Ava Unified Security Provider. I'm excited to accept this award for Cybersecurity Startup of the Year. On behalf of the entire team, thank you. Some time ago, we formed AVA to solve three fundamental problems in security. Data overload, complexity, and the lack of protection against hybrid threats. Now, we're taking aim at the growing source of data breaches, those that come from the gap that exists when cyber and physical domains are treated separately. So, again, Thank you for recognizing us. In the world of data overload, it's impossible to cancel out the noise and find a clear direction. Yet this same world gives you the opportunity to turn complexity into simplicity and ease, endless data points into knowledge, manual processes into automation, reactive response into proactive action. When it comes to security, smart video and cybersecurity solutions working as one create a world of possibilities. A world where being proactive is the task of today, rather than having to investigate tomorrow. What if you could predict and prevent threats before they became incidents? rather than just document the damage. AVA leverages machine learning to identify events and highlight anomalies and potential risks. What if security was automated with out-of-the-box value, without complex configurations? With AVA, your security solution is up and running in minutes and helps you automate tasks with access from anywhere in the world. What if you were protected against today's and tomorrow's hybrid attacks? AVA connects the dots between cyber and physical threats by integrating and unifying our solutions, providing a unique protection against hybrid threats. Security should live and breathe with your business, accelerating your organization to reach its full potential, giving people time to spend on innovations and the possibilities ahead. The future of security is now. It's unified, proactive, and simple. The Banking or Financial Services Team of the Year. Three finalists here are Coventry Billing Society, the Cooperative Bank, and PaySafe. Any predictions here? Anyone? Let me ask my Security Magic 8-Ball here. Try again. God, I need to get a new Magic 8-Ball. Uh, that will explain why all my stocks lost this past year. Well, actually, no, I guess that had to do with COVID as well. But anyway, uh, in terms of the finalists, the winner is... Coventry Building Society, congratulations. So we're the Coventry Building Society are really happy to be recognized for such a prestigious cybersecurity award. We'd like to thank all our colleagues at the Building Society. We'd like to thank the board for investing in us. And we'd like to thank all of the information security team and the cyber awards who've recognized us. So we'd like to say a big thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. The industry team of the year. Three amazing finalists here Kaspersky, Refinitiv, and Salt DNA. And the drum roll, please. I actually don't have a drum or rolls. I'm not sure why I'm saying that, but the winner is 
Kaspersky, and highly commended, uh, as pointed out by the judges, was Salt DNA. I'm honored to accept the Industry Team of the Year Award on behalf of the Global Research and Analysis Team at Kaspersky. Since its inception 11 years ago, the team has been on the forefront of the fight against cybercrime, working to make the world a safer place for everyone. The strength of the team and the services it provides forms the backbone of many Kaspersky products today. Thank you for your appreciation, support, and this amazing award. The not profit team uh, of the year. Now, this was a, a category where the judges had a real tough time uh, figuring out the winner here because they felt they were all doing equally amazing, amazing things. Uh, so just to be finalists here, you should all be uh, commended for, for your awesomeness. Uh, so the, the, the finalists here, Apps of Cybersecurity Academy, SINAM, National Cybersecurity Alliance, NCSA, and the UNIAC, or I don't want to say UNIAC, but uh, no, don't hold me to that one. <laughs> so the not-for-profit team of the year goes to APSA Cybersecurity Academy, highly commanded by the judges, SINAM. Congratulations to you both. Thank you to the Cybersecurity Awards for this opportunity. To Sandra Bukianeri, I celebrate you, sir for your vision, inspirational leadership, and tireless sponsorship. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. To Dr. Taddy Bletcher, thank you for all that you do for South Africa's youth. We are proud to do this with you. To the APSA Cybersecurity Academy team, who are dedicated to making a difference in the lives of our youth. Thank you for going well beyond the call of duty to address every student's personal needs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I could not do this without you, Greg, Marcus, Clinton, Minanto, Tapelo, and KG. We've started the APSA Cybersecurity Academy. Uh, it's currently set up in Johannesburg, where we are taking uh, marginalized kids, you know, kids that are coming out of dire circumstances, and actually giving them a very sought after skill, which is cybersecurity. And more importantly, whether it is with APSA or the multitude of companies that needs the skill, is it giving them a job? It goes through three courses. They go through their A, which is your basic computer training, it goes to your N, which is the network component. And then you do the Cisco CCNA uh, security ops uh, training, which then gives you that security analyst designation. If I believe that the work that I am doing with the academy, there's meaning in it, it brings me happiness that nothing else would fulfill. It's about changing lives. Woman of the year. Boy, there's some amazing, amazing leaders here in, in this space and um, the finalists. Amy Waite uh, from Stellar Cyber, Amy Nelson from Dell, Farida Shahid from Sukhuva, Kathleen McGill from John Hopkins University, Lisa Ventura from UK Cybersecurity Association, May Mitchell from BlackBerry, Nina uh, Becha Shiera from ENY, Ning Wang from Offensive Security, Sandra Joyce from FireEye, and Vandana Verma Sagal from IBM. Regardless of who wins here, you're all amazing, amazing leaders. And the industry is very, very lucky to, to, to have such tremendous, tremendous uh, leaders like yourselves. The winner with two highly commended uh, individuals here, the winner was Vandana Verma Segal, highly commended Sandra Joyce and Ning Wang. Congratulations to all three of you. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much. Um... I'm glad to be nominated for uh, Cybersecurity Women of the Year and receiving this award. Uh, it takes a lot of effort uh, for anyone to strive in any industry, but this industry has always been so supportive of me and we all know that uh, there are very few women in cybersecurity and we are all supporting each other so that we can have more women in cybersecurity. So, um, Thank you so much for supporting me, nominating me, and now I am able to win this award. Uh, looking forward to connecting with you all in person next year. Thank you. The best security company of the year with less than 
at 150 staff. The uh, winner here was mainly chosen for their outreach in the industry and for the amazing pro bono work that they do. Uh, so the finalists were Blockfish, SensorNet, ClearForce, CyberSmart, Digital X-Ray, Iron Scales, Perform Manta, RedScan, SpyCloud, and the Psala Security. Now, as you're all wa watching and trying to figure out who will win, uh, I was going to say any predictions, but I'm just looking at Buzz and he's just staring back at me. But anyway, the a winner is Digital X-Ray. Congratulations, you amazing, amazing work. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you. Being recognized by our peers as Cybersecurity Company of the Year is something myself and the excellent team of individuals at Digital Trade have strived to be from the inception of the company. We are always striving to be the best at what we do. This award means so much to myself and my business partner and takes pride of place on our award shelf. Back in 2016, we attended the award ceremony as independent consultants with a dream of starting our own company. At that point, we said one day we'd come back and we would win an award. We did that in 2018, winning startup of the year, and to come back in 2020 and be recognized as Cybersecurity Company of the Year is just amazing. It also proves, however impossible the task may seem, with the right team, hard work, and dedication, you can reach your goals. Thank you very much, and thanks to the team at Digital X Trade for the amazing work that they continue to do. The best security company of the year with more than 150 staff. And the winner here, according to the judges, was chosen mainly for uh, the level of innovation that they demonstrate uh, and the amount of innovations that they're contributing to the cybersecurity field. So the finalists here are Agari, Ativo Networks, BlackBerry, Cyberproof, Contrast Security, Deep Instinct, FireEye, Inspira Enterprise, Savient, and Tufin. The winner oh, with a uh, highly commended uh so the winner is agari and highly commended is blackberry yay great canadian connection fantastic that's awesome <laughs>
Cybsafe from Cybsafe, DNS Shield from Newstar, Jenny from Decipher Cyber, Salt DNA from Salt DNA, SpyCloud Third Party Insight from SpyCloud, Trusted Home from Iridato. I just butchered that. Uh, shows you my ignorance as a Canadian. And uh, Vault Core from Fortinex. And the winner here is Jenny Decipher Cyber and highly commended. Best point by the judges was CybeSafe from CybeSafe. Congratulations. Thank you for all the incredible innovation that you're, you're doing here in terms of growing uh, the field. Now for the incredible category of the innovative product, specifically within the cloud uh, subcategory. Now the nominees here are Ava Reveal, Ava Unified Security, BitNinja Server Protection, BitNinja Technologies, Core from Cyber Lumineer, Cyber AMI from Varia, FireEye Cloud Advisory from FireEye, IMOU Ranger IQ, On the Mark from Redshift, Threat Detect, Manage Detection and Response, RedScan, Trusted Home, and Vault Core from Fortinex. And the winner, drumroll, that was a pretty bad drumroll on my part, but drumroll winner is On the Mark from Redshift. Congratulations. Hello, everyone. I'm Rahul, CEO at Redshift, and it's a real honor to be selected for this prestigious award. These times have changed. Securing the digital estate and channels of communication is more important than ever. And this industry validation really highlights the relevance of our products. I would like to thank all the hardworking men and women who make Redsif work, no matter what the circumstances, and the customers who have trusted us to help solve their security needs. You get a call from your executives to present at the next board meeting on the current state of cybersecurity across all technology and operational investments made to date. The presentation brief, well in short, the board wants to know if they're safe and they want to know now. How long will it take for you to get this data? How many people are you going to need to contact to collect this information? How accurate or up to date is that data going to be? Will you be presenting gut field perceptions, perhaps the assurances of your suppliers? Or will you be presenting the clean, unedited facts? If any of these questions create a feeling of unease or make you wonder how you'd react, then know that you are not alone. We can help you with CORE. Core installs within a day and doesn't require a long and expensive professional services project. Core gives you clean and accurate data an hour after installation. Core doesn't tie you into contracts. Core either helps you or you can cancel with no obligations. Core helps you with your cyber defense by reducing the guesswork, providing clarity, ensuring accuracy, and saving you time. Contact us and we will show you what many happy customers have already experienced. Cybersecurity Influencer of the Year. Man, there's some amazing categories here. Um, the finalists here, Andy Green from uh, GemServe, Charles White from Fortinex, Lisa Ventura from UK Cybersecurity Association. By the way, if you're not following Lisa Ventura on LinkedIn, you absolutely need to. She's one of my favorite followers. She's absolutely fantastic. Ravi Krishnan from Visa, Ron Patel from Tandem Consulting, and Vibhuti Sinha from Savient. The Cloud Security Influencer of the Year goes to Andy Green. Congratulations, Mr. Green. Thank you. Cybersecurity Influencer of the Year, I think, is a very uh, relevant award in 2020 as a lot of organizations are wrestling with 
digital transformation. So it's with great honor that I accept the award and I'd like to sincerely thank the Cybersecurity Awards, the judges and the sponsors for making this happen in a very testing and unique time. Thank you. The innovative product of the year, focusing on the category of threat detection. A lot of amazing finalists here, and this is gonna be a mouthful, so I'm gonna uh, hit this hard. 24 7 365 Threat Detection, Prevention and Monitoring, or NASAR from Communicate Technology, Agari Active Defense from Agari. Uh, uh, the Threat Group Attribution Through Machine Learning from FireEye, Ativo Networks, Endpoint Detection Net, or EDN Suite from Ativo Networks. Clearforce uh, Resolve from Clearforce. Guricol Unified Security and Risk an uh, uh, an uh, Analytics. Iron Dome from IronNet Cybersecurity. Risk IQ from JavaScript Threats Module from Risk IQ. Security from Upstream Systems. And White Ops Bot Mitigation Platform from White Ops. And the winner here is Iron Dome, IronNet Cybersecurity. Congratulations. I love that name, Iron Dome. I am Bill Welch, co-CEO of IronNet Cybersecurity. I'd like to thank the Cybersecurity Award judges for honoring us as the innovative product of the year in the threat detection category. Congratulations to all the finalists in this category. It's an exciting time for innovation in the cyber industry. It's also an important time for collaboration in so many ways right now, which makes our mission at IronNet around collective defense so critical. Thank you again for this great honor. I hope everyone stays safe and well. Innovative product of the year in the IoT space. Some amazing finalists here as well. DNS Shield from Newstar. The EIV, Embedded Integrity uh, Verification and Advanced detec uh, Detection System uh, from Sternum. Ranger IQ from IMOU. Key Factor Critical Trust Platform from Key Factor. The Orin 1000 and MOT, the Mandarin of Things from Nanolock Security and Trusted Home. And the winner goes to Trusted Home from Iredito, I-R-D-E-T-O. Uh, I'd like to see Jimmy Kimmel do better than that, but uh, congratulations and sorry for butchering the name. I am pleased to accept the 2020 Cybersecurity Award on the behalf of Iredito, an incredible team that has developed Trusted Home. Trusted Home is a sophisticated AI-driven platform enabling service providers and their subscribers to secure the entire smart home beyond the router, addressing the most common problems and providing visibility and intelligence across the home network. To the award organizers, thank you for recognizing your data and the innovation happening in the cybersecurity domain. And to all our employees, thank you for your genius that drives us forward. It's time to grow. And in today's world of hyperconnectivity, the ways you can grow your business are limitless. New connections, new markets, better infrastructure, better products. But new opportunities mean new challenges. And in today's increasingly connected world, cybersecurity is one of the most important assets a company can have. We're a cybersecurity company. We protect people and companies from cyber attacks. At Tiedetto, we believe that privacy and protection against cyber criminals is fundamental to enabling a secure and connected future. Ardetto's customer-centric approach and deep security expertise can help enable our customers to innovate and prosper. We decided to work with Ardetto because they have over 50 years of experience. Um, they are the best in the market. They have a very broad strategy and a big team. So having the best partner providing with the best security system is key for our business. All over the world, cybersecurity requirements are exploding because increasingly everything is connected. And with that connectivity comes the risk of cyber attacks. As these new forms of piracy evolve, our customers are going to require uh, more forms of protection. Ideto is a key security technology partner to the Multishares Group. The company's worldwide experience in video entertainment, connected transport, and IoT connected industries is second to none. Adeco has the best strategy, actually the best algorithm uh, for uh, this kind of data protection. This is why we need a strong partner like Adeco to uh, help us moving forward. Our business proposition is built with the belief that organizations should be able to innovate freely and without fear. As the piracy threats evolve and distribution models diversify, 
Through our 360 degree security portfolio, we can grow with and evolve with our customers and the threats that they face. We do this by providing a modular software-based security platform that is tailored to each industry we operate in. Innovation is important to us. The medical device industry is changing so rapidly and Erdetto has been able to adapt its solutions that would complement our own stack of technology. We already secure over 5 billion devices and applications for the world's best known brands. Erdetto is the ideal partner to build a secure future where people can embrace connectivity without fear. It's time. Time to liberate your company from cyber threats with the most trusted authority in digital platform security. It's time to grow without fear with your Deno. The Cyber Awareness Plan of the Year. That's an awesome category. I love that name. Now, the the scale and reach of the winners um, here was one of the, uh, again, one of the, the main reasons that the, the judge went with the specific winner. And again, great examples of innovation uh, here. Well, the finalists here were the Absa Group Limited, Blue Goose, the DEWA Dua Group, Fe uh, Freshfields, Bruckhaus, Deringer, LLP, ITV, MasterCard, the Pension Protection Fund, SSE, uh, PLC, and Vodafone. Uh, the winner, MasterCard, awesome. Highly commended, ITV, congratulations. Hi, I'm Donna Mattingly, Manager of Corporate Security, Education and Awareness, coming to you live from behind the desk at MasterCard. And I'm Jen DeBerg, Director of Communications, coming to you live from the field. On behalf of MasterCard security team, thank you for selecting Secure It First as the Cyber Awareness Plan of the Year. And congratulations to all the nominees. We are truly inspired by your efforts to promote strong cybersecurity behavior. And thank you to the judges for your time and commitment to celebrate innovation and excellence in our field. Cheers. Cheers. Ah, uh, one that we've all come here to hear or see. Or I guess I think it's the last category of the night before the music starts playing me off. Uh, the CISO, Chief Information Security Officer of the Year. Some amazing, amazing finalists here. Um, uh, very just just humble just to read some of these names here. Uh, obviously, this is a tough, tough category as it is year over year, <laughs> a lot of debate, uh, and it can be an easy uh, uh, for the judges. I do want to thank the judges for the amazing, amazing work that they did uh, uh, to go through this and spend time uh, and to thoughtfully uh, determine who would be the most rightful uh, award recipient of these categories. So I definitely want to make sure that we take time to to thank the judges. Now the finalists are Alan Osborne from Paysafe, Brett Arsenal from Microsoft, J.S. Patel from Oxford University Press, John McClurg from BlackBerry, Kevin Fielder from Just Eat, Killian uh, Fon from William Hill, Mark Osborne from JLL, Martin Booth from Euromoney, Institutional Investor, Mike Jolly from the Lowell Financial Group, and Mike Loganoff from NEOM. And the winner, assuming that my keyboard doesn't break down, the winner is, well, there's a last name in the, in the list there, Mike Loganoff. Congratulations. Highly, highly commended, uh, as pointed out by the judges, was Brett Arsenault from Microsoft. Hi, this is uh, Mike Loganoff. Uh, it's a great pleasure to have been nominated in the first place as CISO of the year at the UK Cybersecurity Awards. Uh, but on behalf of uh, myself and the, the organization I represent, NEOM, I'm really pleased this year to have been uh, awarded CISO of the Year, um, and it was pretty tight uh, uh, competition. Each year the cybersecurity wars gets better and better, so for me, I'm really honoured to have been uh, nominated, I say, but also to be announced as the winner of the cybersecurity uh, awards for this year. So thank you very much, and uh, God bless all. Hey, sorry, I was playing with Forky here. Um, that shows you how many, I just have way too many toys. When my son goes to bed, I'm just playing with his toys until I go to bed. Uh, anyway, what an amazing award show. Thank you so much for uh, everyone for tuning in, spending time of your day to celebrate this amazing cybersecurity community. You know, 
big thank you to the judges for taking time out of their busy day uh, to make sure that we're able to uh, identify you know, these uh, worthy winners. And thank you so much to the nominees and to the winners. Congratulations for everything that you do for making this community uh, as amazing as it is. You know, and something which uh, I want to make sure that we uh, remember is that there's a specific call to action for each and every one of us uh, who's, who's listening in and, and, and watching this. Um, you know, as far as our cybersecurity community has come uh, over the past 20, 25 plus years, there's still so much more growth uh, uh, to happen. You know, each and every one of us needs to embrace being a positive change agent. There's still uh, not enough diversity uh, uh, in our space here from a gender perspective, thought perspective, experience perspective, uh, racial perspective, there's still so much more that, that can be done. And the only way that change can happen is through positive change uh, agents, like every one of you that, that's participating today. Uh, there's still far too much uh, racism that we see. There's still far too much um, misogynistic uh, behavior. It, it, it's, it saddens me, especially as the, as the father of a 10 year old uh, girl, when I see uh, men displaying such uh, inappropriate and just sick and disturbing be uh, behavior to uh, to women in the cybersecurity field. Uh, when you see that type of behavior happening, don't turn a blind eye. You know, we, uh, we have now turned a corner. Uh, silence uh, means you're being complicit. You need to actively be calling this stuff out. We need to be anti racist. It's not enough to just not be racist. We have to be anti racist. We have to be anti misogynistic. Anytime we see this type of uh, behavior, call it out, stop it in action. It's time once and for all for the cybersecurity field to truly uh, represent the amazing diversity and the incredible leadership uh, throughout the world. Uh, when we embrace each and every one of us, uh, rather than just trying to keep sort of the traditional um, uh, uh, ways alive, uh, that then and only then can we truly bring cybersecurity uh, into the future uh, and make it into the field that it's truly meant to be. So I, I actively urge each and every one of you to be positive change agents. Uh, and that, like I said, is how we'll make the cybersecurity field uh, the, the truly the most incredible field uh, uh, that it can be. And uh, then we'll be able to truly realize its full potential. But thank you again to each and every one of you for taking the time to, to join us uh, today. Uh, and I'm just gonna conclude it with uh, my buddy Buzz here. Uh, you can tell we have a lot of toys. Uh, but you know, as you go forth, remember to always go forth and reach out to infinity and beyond. Buzz Lightyear at your service. See, completely amateurish. Everyone take cover. Go infinity and beyond. What he said. Peace, everyone.